Today I'm going to show you how to make some scary looking, disgusting prop fingers using some ultra safe and fast setting silicone. As you can see here, these look quite amazing, uh, look very realistic, look definitely gross. And the best part of it, you can crack the fingers in there, the bone sticks out, comes right through the silicone and it's a great prop. Now to get this done, we need to make a mold using the Alger Safe, and I'm going to be making a mold of my own hand. And then we're going to use the Ecoflex 0035 that's a fast setting silicone to actually get our castings done. Now, if you want to make more than your average novelty scare prop that you can buy in any store, these materials will let you easily make hyper-realistic cadaver fingers complete with the blood and the tendons that will scare the crap out of anybody. For our mold making portion of this video, we're going to be using an alginate. This product is called AlgaSafe and is a skin safe, crystalline silica free product. This is a one-to-one -one mix ratio by volume, so we're going to use one part of the uh, AlgaSafe powder and one part of the water. Now, as far as the water goes, it's really important to understand that the eight minutes of work time and ten minutes of demold time apply when the water that is used for mixing the algae safe is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember, if you're using warmer water, the algae safe is gonna set up faster, while colder water is gonna slow down the cure of the material and the demold time. As always, it's best to mix the powders into water, and that's what we're gonna do here as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to combine the two uh, as always, you want to add the powder into the liquid, so we're going to add the powder into the water. And then here I'm using a mechanical mixer. This is going to expedite the mixing of the product, but it's also going to give us a, a better consistency. It's going to be creamier, it's going to prevent of, uh, any lumps forming in our product, and we're going to have an overall better uh, quality in our casting. Okay, so now that the Elger Safe is mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and submerge my fingers into the material and pull them out and smear some of that material around. Uh, make sure there's no air bubbles or surface tension uh, between the material and the skin, and then submerge it back into the Elger Safe and allow it to cure for about uh, five to eight minutes. Now about five minutes later, we can go ahead and slowly uh, break the seal between the uh, Alge Safe and the hand, the skin, or simply just um, move your fingers around and uh, slowly pull out the hand, and there we have our mold. Now do keep in mind that an alginate mold should be casted into as soon as possible. You don't want to wait hours to cast into it because the mold will start losing water and start to change shape. Now the silicone we're going to be using is called the Ecoflex 0035. It's a fast setting super soft silicone. It's on a double, double zero shore scale. And because we're dispensing this by volume, I'm simply going to mark my two dispensing containers with a marker. And then we're going to proceed to dispensing the part A first. Now the part A is where you're going to do your color matching, color mixing. So we're going to dispense the part A, add some flesh tone, add some blood tone, some brown, some blue to achieve a uh, dead skin, uh, rotten flesh kind of color. Keep in mind that I'm adding the pigments in very, very small quantities. You don't want to overpower the silicone color and then it's going to look very fake. Uh, here we got our silicone pigments blended into the part A. And now we can proceed to dispense the part B, equal amount. Now, a quick tip here, uh, you can powder your Alge Safe mold with some baby powder or some talc, and that's gonna give the casting that you're pouring in there a nice and um, matte finish instead of a glossy finish that you'll see uh, usually come out of a alginate mold. Uh, the finish on these casting is gonna be nice, nice and smooth. It's gonna be uh, very matte and realistic. Now we can go ahead and combine the part A and part B of our Ecoflex together. We're gonna mix thoroughly. As always, you wanna make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom of your mixing container. And when you have that mixed thoroughly, we can go ahead and pour into the mold. 
Once the silicone is poured into the mold, we can go ahead and put some fake bones into the silicone. Uh, we got a bunch of these online. You can also purchase them locally in a uh, Halloween shop or something like that. These are very inexpensive. And we're basically going to stick them into the silicone. And we're going to move them around a little bit. And you can even pull some of that silicone onto the bone so it looks even more realistic once it's fully cured. We're going to allow this now a five-minute cure time before removing from the mold. Now, once the five minutes is over, the material should be set up enough so we can demold it. Now, while UltraSafe is considered a one-time molding product for body parts, if you're very careful when demolding your casting, you can actually keep using that mold. And here I'm going to show you as I'm pulling out the fingers out of this mold, I'm going to do that carefully, leave the mold intact, uh, try not to rip it, and then we can continue using it. Now, you should be using this mold as soon as possible. And here, I just want to show you a quick sample. This is a mold on the right that I made several days ago, and it shrunk quite a bit uh, because of the water evaporating, while the mold on the left here that I just recently made is still full size and will give us exact castings out of that mold. Now, the mold on the right, the longer you leave it to evaporate the moisture, it's going to give us uh, shriveled fingers. The shape is going to start to change. If you want to prevent some of that from happening, you can put it in a Ziploc, put it in a fridge, and then come back to it to cast into it some more another day. Now, to paint the fingers, uh, we're going to use some of the same material, Ecoflex 0035. Going to add a little bit of the silicone pigments to it. Uh, here I'm adding the uh, blood tone or blood color, a little bit of brown, and I'm going to add that to the fingers and give it some more of the realistic look. Now, if you just paint these on and leave the silicone to cure, it's going to cure shiny. So as the material is curing, just give it a dab with the uh, brush and it's going to take some of that shininess away. It's going to dull it out and it's going to make it more of a matte surface. The silicone is now allowed another five minutes to fully cure before being handled. If you look closely at the detail of these castings, you can clearly see that the AlgaSafe picked up all the fine detail of the fingerprints and transformed them perfectly into our castings. And here are some of the results from the last two, three days of me casting into those molds. I got a really good prop for Halloween coming up. These look really gross and uh, pretty realistic. Now, if you got inspired by this project and you like to make some of your own castings and uh, props, you can do so by visiting any one of our distributors around the world. So, and there you have it, a simple and easy step-by-step -step instructional video on how to make your very own gross-looking props for Halloween or everyday scares using the AlgaSafe and the EcoFlex 0035. Now, if you have an idea about what we should do next, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Now, to keep up with our latest mold making and casting videos, remember to subscribe.